Hey everyone, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooByDoo.com and this tutorial we're going to add content to our modern CMS. So let's go ahead and open up our files. So instead of having to go through phpMyAdmin through the insert, we're going to create our own form on the own web our own website. So, um, so let's go ahead and open up TextMate here and add a new file folder. I'm sorry a new folder to the web server and we're going to call this admin and we'll add a new file to this we'll create index.php and let's go ahead and copy everything from our original index.php and paste it in here and the first thing that we need to do is link back to our class and link back to our CSS file okay and let's create another one another file called nav PHP and we'll call this unordered list. I mean, we'll write unordered list. We'll add a link to add content.php and add content. And then we'll finish that unordered list. So that's just an easy way to have external navigation for all the pages. And let's go ahead and include that on our page. So include nav.php and that should give us our nav. So let's go ahead and open that up our, at our web address right here and you can see that we have this under list um, for add nav and that does not exist yet so let's go ahead and create add content. I'm sorry I said add nav I meant add content .php and we'll copy everything from our index.php into add content so in this, let's go ahead and create our form. I'm not going to go out layout savvy on this one at all. And we're going to set the action up back to index.php because I'm going to use the index.php file to handle everything such in the adding stuff and deleting and updating. So we'll create a label for our title and we'll create an input type equals text and name equals title and ID will be title and we'll finish our div we'll add another div give this a label for the body and body and this is the boring part that I hate having to do to y'all because y'all already know how to do this so if you want to fast forward please do so so we create our text area and a title or an ID of body as well and close that div okay so and let's add our submit button so input type equals submit name equals submit ID, no, actually a value equals add content. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do is add a hidden field to this. So input type equals hidden, and the name of this will be add, and value of this will be true. Now the reason I did this is because back on our index.php, we're going to need to add an if so if post add then we're going to go ahead and locate our function add content and we're going to post the post array through that and enter if okay so let's go ahead and create the function to add our content so at the bottom of this, we'll add our function, add content, post, and inside of this, we're going to have our title. It's going to be equal to MySQL real escape string post title. We'll go ahead and copy this and paste it as body and body okay so now we have our two variables and they've been escaped so they're safe for 
database or yeah database interaction now let's go ahead and find out if uh, they supplied a title or not so we'll do if title or body okay so if they did not supply a title or a body now I did curly brackets if they did not supply a title or a body then we're going to go ahead and find out which one they did not supply so at the very bottom we'll go ahead and echo out a link uh, add content PHP uh, try again okay and then let's go ahead and say if they don't supply a title then echo the title is required just plain and simple in the if add another one if they did not supply a body so now I'll copy the title and paste that there body and body so we'll go ahead and see if that actually I need to wrap these in paragraphs And a paragraph and a paragraph. And one more. Very sorry about this. Okay. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll go to add content, leave it blank. And we get the title is required and the body is required. Try again. Cool. So let's go ahead and add this to our database. So this is the easy part. We'll do SQL equals insert insert into CMS content values are null title and body. And then we'll do res equals MySQL query SQL or die MySQL error. If there were no errors, then echo out added successfully. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that out. We'll do uh, yada, 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 more dummy text. Okay, and we'll add the content. It was added successfully. We'll reload this page and we get our new title and where we get our new post. So thanks for watching and goodbye. So I had about two minutes more so I could finish. So I was going to add to this. So um, the function add content, we have our two titles, I mean our two uh, form fields and we're creating their variables. We're escaping them so they're safe to go on through the database without, we don't have to worry about hacks. And then we said if they did not supply a title or a body, then go ahead and find out which one they did not supply. This way we don't send blank data to the database and then we can tell them what they did wrong. And if whenever, after it tells them what they did wrong, then we echo out, uh, you wanna try again? So else if they did supply a title and a body, then we go ahead and add it to the database. Uh, to our CMS content values are null and title and body. Uh, so, and the reason I had to add the null was because otherwise it wonder it something goes wrong whenever it looks for an ID number and it's not there. And then we tell them uh, it was added successfully. So thanks for watching this video again. Uh, stay tuned for the next screencast where we'll be managing and deleting our posts that we don't want.